Hi everyone, I wanted to create a video that explains how to get an ambient occlusion texture. And I showed in my texturing video how to get one out of ZBrush, but I was only able to achieve a level 5 subdivision because level 6, 7, and 8 would crash when I'm using this machine. And just, uh, you know, I won't show system, but I I'm using a i7 quad core, 3.4 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM. So I've got one point. I've got 177,000 polygons in level 5. I can get an ambient occlusion with level 5. I go up to level 8, and it's 11 million polygons. This computer just can't handle that. So if I come down here to masking, and I press mask ambient occlusion, it's going to crash. And it's the same thing with level 7 and level 6. And I can finally get one out at level 5. So frankly, this is not the device I want to use to create ambient occlusion. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to export my lowest subdivision head, which is level 1 at 717 polygons, and I'm going to try to find out what's the highest subdivision level I can get out of ZBrush without the thing crashing. And I have found out that level 7, I'm able to get a level 7 head. This computer can create a 2.8 million polygon OBJ file. So I have the level 7 OBJ, and I have the level 1 OBJ, and those are set up over here in 3D Studio Max. So I can select my parts list here. i got level 1 and level 7. And let me just slide level 1 to the side here and show you the difference between the two. Okay, so there's level 1. I'll turn on wireframe, go to sub-object mode, and press control A and that tells me I got 717 polygons. Okay, I can uh, do the same thing for level 7. It's so dense with 2.8 million polygons that it turns white. Go to sub-object mode, press control A, and eventually this is going to say 2.8 million polygons. That's a lot, but that's good. Okay, turn that off, turn off wireframe, and then let's get the level 1 head back right on top of the level 7 head. There it is. Okay, so this ambient occlusion projection technique is done through render to texture. The hotkey is 0, or come up here to rendering and go render to texture. You can see it says 0 right there. Okay, I'm going to walk through all the settings that you need in this window to make this happen. And, but first and foremost, you've got to make sure that the level 1 head is selected, otherwise nothing's going to be populated in this window. So I'm going to come up here, go level 1 head, select, and then you can see <coughs> it shows up here in this window. Up here in the output, that tells you where you're going to save these files to, and I've just told it to go to my my ambient occlusion pass folder okay make sure that your level one head is selected here um, your padding that's the number of pixels around your uv shells that this ambient occlusion is going to render to you got to make sure that you have uvs on your level one head otherwise this won't work okay we are doing a projection mapping technique so we got to turn that on and this sub object level turns on by default, but we don't want that. We want to turn sub-object off. And now we press pick and we choose the level 7 head because that's where the software is getting its information for this ambient occlusion. And you can see it puts a projection modifier on the level 1 and this level 7 head is loading right here. And in a few seconds you're going to see a, a blue cage around the level 1 head. Okay, so here's that cage. It isn't anything we can use right now. We have to come over here in our rollout, and if you only have one column of tools, you'll have to scroll down. I'm going to get both columns out here. And down here, you want to press the reset button. That snaps that cage to the surface of the level 1 head, and then you slide the amount up here and push up to adjust the size of that cage. And I know from I'll just press reset again. I know from experience that 0 0.01 gets me in the ballpark, but I need a little bit less than that. So I'm going to hit reset again, 
and I'm going to type in 0 0.007 and that gets this cage just far enough off the surface of level 1 to allow me to do a projection between level 1 and level 7 and have no uh, interpenetration between the two the two models okay so that's how you set up the the cage there let's proceed down our settings here mapping coordinates if you use the automatic unwrap this is what it defaults to the software is going to fracture the result of your ambient occlusion into tens of thousands of little bits it's going to be frankly useless so you want to use existing channel and that's going to use the UVs that I created for this head never use automatic unwrap always use existing channel all right next up is we need to tell what our output's going to be and so I press this add button we don't have ambient occlusion in this list and the reason why is because we're using the wrong renderer right now I have to go over here to my render setup or press F10 which is the hotkey for that and in the common tab at the very bottom is the assign renderer rollout and I need to see it says default scan line I need to change that to mental ray and that's good close that now when I press add you're gonna see ambient occlusion mental ray as our, uh, our selection here that's what we want I'm gonna add that it comes out to 256 we need to change that to 2048 by pressing the preset buttons here and then um, we're ready to go okay this target map slot here is deliberately set as nothing I, di I didn't choose any of these because I, I don't want to create a shell material I want it to be blank so I'm gonna deliberately choose this to be blank and right here is is the name for our output and click on these this three dots here and this allows me to set up the file format it defaults to a TGA and here's the name we'll call this take two because I've already done one up here save TGA information um, and then we've got this set this is the background color now down here this is this is kind of the meat and potatoes of the render to texture these samples represent rays rays of light coming in um, think of a sphere around your model here and this inside surface of the sphere has 16 points of light all coming in and bouncing off this if I change this to 32 that's different 32 rays of light etc etc so you really really in drastically increase your processing time for this ambient occlusion the more rays you have the more samples you have okay if I open up the help files go to help and I go to the search tab here and I type in baked texture I hit search the third one is baked texture elements and I scroll down here and this has a real nice visual indication of what the spread, the max distance, and the fall off will do for your settings. So this is a great explanation. Please go here for more information about spread, max distance, and fall off. Okay. Lastly, if I open up the baked material, it defaults to save source. This creates a shell which is creating um, a material. I don't want that. I'm going to output into source. Okay. So make sure you do that. And then underneath that is automatic mapping. Well, we don't want automatic mapping. Remember up here, I had to use existing channel. So by virtue of clicking on existing channel, it's going to ignore all this stuff. So we're ready to go. I'm going to hit render and likely we get this error here and this is because um, this target map slot was left blank and I frequently just say don't display this again and hit continue and now this is where I go get a cup of coffee because it's going to take quite a while with 32 rays I'll stop the movie and then pick back up after it's done okay so it finally stopped processing and it's finished and you're probably looking at this render render window render window wondering what happened what this is not what I want and it's true you can't trust what you see in this window this is simply I don't know why they made this but it's not what we want so you can just close that go to Photoshop and open up 
you know, go open up where you told it to save your file, and, and you'll, you'll recall that I, I told it to go to uh, ambient occlusion pass. Um, back here in Max, where you told it to save it up here in output is where that file is, and that's what you want to look at. Don't look at the ren render window because it's, it's a mirage. Okay, so back here on the right is this projection technique, ambient occlusion. I've blown it up there. And this is the level 5 ambient occlusion that I got out of ZBrush. So this is the difference between um, 1 and 5. And this is the difference between 1 and 7. And, and this is just with 32 rays. If you increase the rays to 50, you'll get a lot better result if you have a, a stronger computer and, and more patience. So in my opinion, this one the level 7, the level 1 projection is a higher quality ambient occlusion, and I think it's going to give me better results than, frankly, this mess. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Keep watching. Thank you very much.